Now let us see how to solve this problem. I'll assume the height of this column is 7 meters. I'll take this as 3.5. I'll take this as 3.5. And I'll assume that this radius is 5 meters. That means the diameter will be 10 meters. So let us see how to solve this. Now initially I'll create the base structure and then I'll create the circular slab. So now you can go to structure wizard, you can go to frame models, you can choose reverse cylindrical frame. Now you can give length in the sense this is the height of the frame, I'll give 7 meters. The radius I'll retain this as 5 meters and we need circular and the number of base along length that means the height we'll take it as 2 and the number of base along periphery I'll take them as 16. Now I'll say apply and say transfer yes. Now this is the kind of structure that we got. I'll remove this bottom members I'll say del from the keyboard. Now this is the kind of structure that we have now and this diameter that is from this point to this point is 10 meters and the height is 7 meters and the number of base along the circle are 16. Let me remove these distances and now let me take this ring beam and say right click and say new view. I'll say ok. Now here we'll model a circular slab let us see how to do that. Now we can take this surface meshing and you can start here next point, next point and so on like this. Let me come back to the first point by picking all these nodes. Now this is the first point. Now pick here now it is giving the number of divisions as 10 divisions for each side. 10 divisions is not required for each side. I'll go for 3 number of plates or 3 divisions for each side. That means along the periphery we'll get 16 sides into 3. That is we get 48 number of elements. Now say OK. Now we'll get these plates. Now if you see this is one phase and you can see the number of elements in one phase are three. This is one, this is two and this is three. These are the three elements in this phase. If you, if you choose this particular phase, this is one element, second element and third element. That means each phase is divided into three divisions. That means along the periphery you will get three triangular elements. Now this is a slab that we have modeled and let me say display whole structure. Now let us give the properties for this. I'll say define. We'll go for circular columns. We'll go for circular columns. I'll say add and I'll give 0.38 by 0.23 along the periphery for the ring beam and the tie beam and we'll give the plate thickness as 0.15 meters because the diameter is 10 meters, 0.15 meters and I'll say add and say close. Columns I'll say select beams parallel to y axis and this one I'll give to this one that is the ring beam and this tie beam I'll say assign. And the plate thickness I'll choose the plate cursor and give it to all the plates. Now select the plates like this and say assign yes. Now let us give supports. Say fix it at the bottom. Now let us give the loads. Let me give self weight. 
add and then let me give a plate load of minus 1 kilo newton per square meter in global y direction now I'll take the geometry cursor and give the sulfate to the entire structure I'll choose like this I'll say assign and the pressure I'll give to all the plates taking the plate cursor I'll choose all these plates and say assign to selected plates now we will say analyze add close let me run this problem now the problem is solved now let us see the results I'll go to post processor first let us understand the maximum displacement it is 9.198 mm it's 9 mm and it is almost in the center like this let me go to the top view zoom this portion and then now this is the maximum displacement 9.198 and this is a point this is a point of maximum displacement now let us see the bending moments I'll say results plate stress contour and I'll say MX I'll say apply and say close this is 13.9 kilo newton meter per meter and let us see MY plate stress contour and say MY and say apply and say close this is 14.3 so this is how we got the bending moments the bending moments here what we see MX and MY are almost same because this is a circular structure and uh, so the bending moments MX and MY will be same because if you take a plate element the bending moment in X phase and the bending moment in Y phase will be same because of the geometry of the structure now the deflection we got is 9 mm and the bending moments are almost 12 to 14 kN meter per meter now having analyzed this lab once you get 14 kN meter you can design this lab let me design one particular element in the middle I'll go to design go to concrete I'll say Indian IS456 I'll give FC and I'll say 20,000 add close and I'll say commands design one slab element so I'll pick the middle plates I'll take like this and I'll pick some plates let me pick this plate this this and this these plates in the middle these plates in the middle and I'll say assign yes now I'll say design elements I'll design few elements like this in the center I'll pick these elements also and say assign yes now let us run the program and see the steel in that the steel concerned to 13 kilo newton meter per meter bending moment now we can see the steel is this is MX values for that particular plate and these are MY values you can see these are almost same this is 9.34 this is 9.4 9.16 and 9.3 and the steel is also same and at the middle plate the steel here is 2.02 cm square and on the other side it's 1.56 this 1.56 cm square is the minimum so you should take steels you should take the bottom steel thus this one this one this and all these things so these are the steels that you should consider that means if you like the bottom steel in the sense you should take the steel at the bottom that means the bottom steel in the sense let us understand what is bottom steel in the middle of the plate generally will have steel at the bottom that means this positive z-axis must be upwards let us go to structure diagrams 
let us go to labels it's not structure diagrams plate orientation and say apply now we can see the positive z is upwards so this steel is the top steel and the bottom steel is bottom steel like whatever you see in the positive z side on the positive z face is the top steel and on the other side that is negative z side is the bottom steel so whatever steel we got here as the bottom is physically the bottom like this is 2.06 and if you go with 10 mm bars the spacing of 10 mm bars will be 0.785 divided by 2.06 into 100 will be the spacing of 10 mm bars for the circular slab so this is how we can design the circular slabs and in the next problem we will take a problem where we'll have a slab little lifted which gives the conical shape let us see that in the next lesson